All right, I am back with another part of the King Arthur series. And last time we finally brought an end to the war with England. But before the war came to an end, we actually stole a castle from them. Scotland has officially gained land south of Hadrian's Wall, which is great. It means we're making progress towards retaking Britain. But now that the war has come to an end, we no longer have a purpose anymore. We finished off last time by making sure our castle was not going to rebel against us. The last thing we want is rebels to take our land. If we take a look at diplomacy, I think it's most likely the Kingdom of Ireland is our next target. Although that being said, England might redeclare war on us for a change because one, they are stronger and two, they are paying us 400 a day. So England may declare war on us to retake their lost castle and to cancel the tribute they're paying. I know it's not a lot, but it does add up after a little while. I mean, they've already paid us over 10,000 gold. But we will just have to wait and see what the future brings. Our influence is slowly getting there. We are finally turning it around after our minus 300. But we still have quite a way to go because we're going to need plus 200 if I want to start any wars. If we want to create any armies of our own, I'm going to need quite a bit. I mean, why would I pay, like, I mean, some of these are pretty expensive, like 43 influence, and he's only going to bring 36 men to the army. Whereas this one, 11 influence and 118. And so it has begun. It is, as I said, the English have declared war on us once again. They are going to attempt to retake their lost land. They probably aren't too happy about losing it. All right, men, once again, we must defeat the English. We must show them that we are the superior nation. The Welsh and Scottish combined are no match for the Anglo-Saxon Normans. The question is, is where is the English going to go? Are they going to come for my castle? Are they going to march north? I need as much information as I can get. I could travel to the road, but if they come from the south, we're going to have a bit of a problem. We have found an army of 700 strong at the moment. Compared to our army of 181, we don't really stand a chance. The Scots are gathering, though. I think they're, they're gathering near Manchester. They might be able to protect this village if they get there in time. But I need to find out where who is going. Because I'm pretty sure who is not traveling to York to besiege. I think the game is lying to me there. <laughs> Where are you going, who boy? He's going to my castle. He is going to attempt to take land from the Pendragon clan. We cannot allow that. We're going to go to the castle ourselves, and we will put our life on the line to defend it. There are more English lords on the way. If they get too big, the Scottish army stands no chance. But if they leave it down to me, I will defend the castle like I did last time and put a stop to the English and give us a chance of winning this war. We have hired mercenaries, which isn't great because I gotta pay the damn mercenaries. <laughs> I didn't agree to this. But if we take a look at the kingdom tab, you can see... They've already killed seven of our people. But the main concern here is the fact that there's three and a half thousand of them against our 2,600. Overall, there's about 6,000 people involved in this war. And the question is, are we going to end up with more casualties than there are people left again? But we are going to defend the castle. The wall still hasn't fully recovered from when I took the castle. But it should hold. I can't imagine they're going to trebuchet that down. Right now, there are six lords with 700 men. He's probably going to join them, so there'll be seven lords. Should we request a parley? Should we just see if we can have a chat with who? You asked for a parley. I will trust you will honor the customs of war and attempt no tricks. Don't worry, Hugh. I, I'm not going to attempt any tricks. It's not like I'm going to pop over the wall with my crossbow and just like put a bolt in your head or anything. 
I am honourable in that regard, my friend. But I am just wondering, maybe we don't have to fight. Maybe we can come to some sort of agreement. William II hasn't treated you well, but if you were to join the Scots, my friend... No? Oh, okay. Um... What would it take for you to, uh, okay, all right. Negotiations have come to an end. It is war. We have no choice but to fight. He was chosen this, so if he dies in this battle, it is on him. I gave him an out. Oh God, there's another 500 soldiers here. All right, we are, uh, well... We're a little more outnumbered than last time. Last time there was about one and a half versus our 500. And this time we're outnumbered about four to one. All right, soldiers of the Pendragon clan. We are going to stand united. We are going to defend this castle as it is our only bit of land. We cannot lose everything we have fought for. It is time to put a stop to the English again. Alright, I don't know why I'm inside on my horse, but so be it. And someone just took down three lords in a single shot. What? I think it was the ballista guy. He just took down three of their, like, commanders. Alright, men! Man the walls! I want every part of this castle covered! We're gonna have to hold them back as much as possible. They're running at us at full speed. What is going on? They're not playing the slow game. They're already lifting the ladders. Well, this could be a brutal one. If they're already coming inside, I don't know what we're supposed... Hang on, why are one of my lads on the ladder? Alright, men. Just hold the castle as best you can. They are not hanging around. They are already inside. Scots and Welshmen must hold the fort united. I am going to attempt to assist as much as possible, lads. I'm doing my best. I don't know how the left side is holding. If the left side falls, well, this battle could be over sooner than expected. Right now, the kill feed is still fit, like more green than red. But we are outnumbered four to one. So for every four green ones, we need to see only one red. I don't know if there's a better angle I can get on the other... No. This is the best angle we're going to get. The problem is, I'm shooting directly down, so I'm only getting like a handful of kills at a time. We're not getting those multi-kills that we need. Soldiers are still holding. I don't know if the English have really made it in yet. You know what? Someone else man the ballista, lads. I am going to get my good friend the pebble. Where is it? There are my pebbles. Maybe they'll be a bit more effective in this situation. Although the English are now inside. Oh, don't tell me the wall has fallen, lads. We can't allow them in already. All right, the pebble wasn't effective. Get out my damn castle! You damn crooks! You invaders! Stop taking my homeland! Be gone, I say! Be gone! Hold the walls, men! Hold the walls! We cannot allow the invaders inside! Be gone! Be gone, I say! I'm going to have to just help the lads a sec. I could have stayed on the ballista, but if they're squeezing past, we're going to have to put a stop to that, I think. Help the men out a bit. Our numbers are thinning. The goal is to just kill as many as possible. If we can actually win this defense, I mean, that will be great. But ideally, we just want to keep them out. We need to kill as many as we can. Get off my damn ladder. Any man who attempts to come inside will be shot. And why are my men running outside the front gate? What is going on, lads? Get back inside. We have a wall to defend. 
What are you doing? Right, we have a situation because the men should not be rallying outside. If we rally, we're going to get more casualties and the castle is going to fall quicker. They're even trying to climb the ladder. What is going on? See what I mean? They're all pretty much dead. That's like half the army sacrificed for no reason. The catapult is firing at the left side doing great damage. The ladder has fallen. This is great. The longer we can keep them out for, the better. The left side though, I fear, has fallen. I'm pretty sure the English are in. Alright, soldiers. This is pretty much it, men. What you see here is all we have left. The power bar at the top is not looking great. The English are putting a stop to us. I fear we were just too outnumbered. Is there anyone else coming in? There's still more. They have reinforcements, which means the left side is going to fall even faster. This is not great, lads. This is not great at all. I'm doing whatever I can to keep them out. Get out my damn castle! How many more of you have got to enter before we put a stop to you once and for all? I'm not hearing an awful lot from the left side, so I got a feeling it's already fallen and they're inside. Yeah. Where are the English then? Come on, reveal yourself. Yep, I see them on the left side. They're starting to breach on the right as well now. There's not many of us left. The number advantage has finally kicked in. This may be the end. I mean, we're not going to give up. The men are going to fight till the very end. I mean, if they want this castle, they're going to have to take it from my cold, dead hands. I am not going to go down without a fight. They seem to be running past us at the moment. Back, I say! Back! Damn English soldiers, they've outnumbered me. They've got me, lads. They've got me. I don't know how many more I can take down. One with a sword is being an absolute pain. I'm stuck. I have nowhere to go. I think this battle is over. We have fallen to the English. Look how many of them were on the left side. The right side, we almost managed to hold them fully back. But the left, I mean, there were just too many. The men couldn't hold... And sadly, we have been defeated. But if we take a look at the stats, we managed to kill double our number. We took down 300 of them. We wounded a further 200. But as I said, it just wasn't good enough. This means all the work I put in to take this castle has been lost. All the progress that we made, gone.
The English forces are still pretty strong. They're going to attempt to put a stop to our army. And if they do reach our army, well, it's game over. They're not going to be able to cut down 900 of them. And there you go. The Scottish army is being attacked. Hang on a minute. What was the... Oh, there we go. And the Scottish army has been cut down. There will be nothing left once the English are done with them. And there you go. The Scottish army has been defeated. I have been defeated. If we take a look at the Kingdom tab, the English are winning this war. Our strength has gone down to under 2,000, while they are still 3,000 strong. I have managed to escape captivity. We might have to ditch a horse or two for movement speed due to the herding penalty. There we go. And now we're going to have to try and make it back to the homeland and decide what we do next. I don't know what the English have planned for us. So my scout reports have revealed that the English's next target is this castle here. They are truly trying to invade our lands. This will be our next stand. We're going to have to wait in this castle and hope we can put a stop to the remains of the army here. We have managed to cut down half of them in the last siege, so if we can pull that off again, we might be able to put an end to them here. And maybe we can turn this war around. The other English army has just arrived to assist them in the battle, but that being said, because they only had 400 men for so long, they haven't really had time to build any equipment. Only now they are building their first ram, and I have a full line of defences. We may stand a chance this time. We have less men than last time, which isn't ideal. But we have three catapults and a ballista. I feel like we can pull this off. And if we manage to win, well, that's five, ten, thirteen English lords we could capture. Alright, men! Man the walls. We are going to put a stop to the English this day. I may have been defeated in the first battle. They may have retaken the castle. But I will not be defeated a second time. I will stand with the men till my last breath. Until the English have been defeated. Maybe the only way to win this war is to start cutting off their heads. I do not want to take that approach. I would prefer to stay honourable and keep my word of freeing the lords. But if they're going to keep attacking us and forcing us out of our homeland, maybe I'm going to have to kill a few. But either way, the enemy are not charging us this time. They're going to play slowly because they want to get the ram and the siege tower in. To be honest with you, if they did that last time, we probably would have held a lot longer. But because they just sprinted for the ladders at full speed, well, they didn't hang around and they're not being shot at like they are now. That being said, I am losing a lot of men to their archer fire. They have ranged superior... Well, I mean, they have everything superiority. We're outnumbered three to one. <laughs> But they are thinning our numbers nicely, which isn't great for us. The catapults, to be honest with you, don't seem like they're doing a great job. They have taken down the siege tower, which means the enemy will not be breaching from the left. The left has been like defended, the left is safe. So they're only going to come up from ladders from the right. Or the battering ram down the middle. It means we've created a little bit of a funnel. It may help. If we took down the ram as well. Well we would have funneled them all to the right side. And this battle may have been easier. They're charging the ladders on the right. Now, there's not much I can do about that. My ballista's not at the best angle to put a stop to that. I'm going to keep firing at the archers. See if we can thin them down a little bit more.
All right, it is time to get off the ballista. The front gate has fallen, lads. I repeat, the front gate has fallen. The enemy are going to start chopping down the inner gate. It is time to drop some rocks. Cannonball, lads. Cannonball. We're going to have to crush their necks. Put a stop to every single Englishman that we can. The gate won't hold for long. I only have a limited amount of rocks. Back, I see. Back. There's only so many rocks I can drop on their heads and they're in the castle. The English have breached once again. This is not good. Not good at all. I have my last rock. Let's put it to good use and there we go. Alright men, man the walls. Defend the gate. Put a stop to any Englishman you can. Okay, this, this isn't good. This is the only place they can come from. The front or the right side. The right side seems to be holding okay. As for the rocks, well, as I mentioned, we're completely out of rocks on the front gate. I'm going to try and go behind them and see if I can help cut down the enemy at the front gate. But there is a lot of enemy and not a lot of defenders. We may have been defeated once again. How has this happened? How have the English once again put a stop to us? This is not great at all. It is not great. I have been defeated twice in one day. Is this the end of Scotland? Is this the end of Arthur Pendragon? Well, we have managed to make it back to Glasgow, the last stronghold of the Scots. Well, I say the last one. We do have a settlement all the way to the north. But overall, it is not looking too good. I'm trying to recruit up as much of an army as I can. I've inflicted enough damage that the English are no longer trying to besiege any further areas. So the land right now is safe, I believe. I mean, I will have to take a quick look just in case they haven't run around without me realizing. But I believe the land for now is safe. Our issue is, is we have lost a castle. I've lost my castle. We're heavily outnumbered. Overall, it's not going too well. And to top it all off, I have been attacked by another lord who has the same amount of men as us, but all of mine are recruits, and hers are experienced fighters. Oh, well, we're going to get taken prisoner for a third time. This is just like Star Wars, you know? You get a new hope where we took the castle, all was good, the war might have been turning in our favour, and then you get hit with the sequel, The Empire Strikes Back. The English have come out in full force. We're just going to have to wait until part three, the return of the Jedi, the Pendragon clan. <laughs> King Arthur returns to his rightful place and brings balance back to the country. But for now, we're currently in the Empire Strikes Back phase and we're probably going to get taken prisoner for a third time. Loyal soldiers of the Pendragon clan. We have been defeated twice already, and sadly, it looks as though we may have a third defeat on our hands. I am proud to call you my men. You loyal guys who even brought pitchforks to battle, brought little mallets, brought rocks. I mean, you got anything you could to defend your homeland, and defend our homeland we shall. We shall try our best to put a stop to the English invaders. And make our country proud, men. We fight so that our families may live another day. I am going to get off the horse. And I am going to fight side by side with my men till the end. Any Englishman that attempts to kill one of my soldiers will die. I promise you that. Back, I say. Back. I'm trying to give the recruits a fighting chance. I'm trying my best, lads. 
I am trying my best. I'm the only one here with a real weapon. The bulk of the English forces have now arrived. The men are throwing their rocks. Can we put a stop to them? Can we defeat the English once and for all? I say once and for all. This is only a little squad. Rip the men hold as a distraction. I can use my weapon to slay as many soldiers as possible. And we could come out of this victorious. Just hold lads. Hold for your lives. Hold the line. I believe we can pull off a miracle this day. We can defeat the English. I hate to say it, but the recruits are literally just a distraction. They're not going to be able to kill the enemy themselves. It is pretty much all down to me. But we're getting killed by the cavalry and the ranged. The infantry, I think we actually defeated. But as for the others, yeah, they're causing us too many issues. Oh god, did you hear the man who screamed for help? I'm sorry, my friend. I tried. I tried to defend my people. And the cavalry has run me down. There is nothing I could do. I tried. I tried. We have been captured a third time. At least I can honestly say every time we have been captured, we have gone down fighting. We have taken down as many English soldiers as we possibly can. But it's just not enough. The English heavily outnumber us. I don't know what I'm going to do. How do we put a stop? To this enemy. How do we defeat them once and for all. If I don't start cutting their heads off. This is the only way I can see us winning this war. Is if I actually capture lords. And that just be my goal. If I purely focus on capturing the enemy lords. And just cutting their heads off. That way the English will slowly lose lords. Their clans will slowly become less and less. And they just won't have the vassals to defend their land. But that being said, we would have to break our honor. And uh, well, I guess that's the question for today, folks. Do we go against our honor and start cutting down the English lords, taking their heads one by one? Or do we stick to our honor and try to come up with another way to win this war? As of now, like I said... It's not looking too good. If we go to the kingdom tab, we're killing more than we're like losing. But because they have that number advantage, we have to be killing like double the amount they are. And they have eight of us prisoner. Which is not great because it means we can't rebuild our armies. We're just going to end up losing this war. If you have any thoughts on how we can turn this war around, please let me know. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. But that is going to be it for this part of the King Arthur series. Three mighty battles and three defeats. It is not good at all. But as always, thank you to the Gwaggles members for continuing to support the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.